It's week six of the SCAC Player of the Week nominations. I'm Rachel Gibbon with Southwestern's Brandy Campos, our Volleyball Defensive Player of the Week. Thanks for joining me today, Brandy. Thanks for having me. Fun fact, it's week six of the volleyball season, and you've taken half of the Volleyball Defensive Player of the Weeks. How does your family and friends react to this? Um, they just give me like a big congratulations. I know my family back at home is really enjoying it, and um, they always try to watch the games when they can online or come into the games. And my teammates are being awesome with it, very supportive. And um, you know, outside of the games, it's a hard struggle on the court. You know, battling through injuries and stuff. So they're very supportive of my work, and um, everybody's just giving me that push that I need to keep going and keep playing the way I'm playing. That's awesome to hear. This past weekend, SU won both of their games this um, past week. You averaged six d digs per set. That's super impressive. What kind of drills have you been working on in practice to achieve such a high stat? Um, I think the drills we've been working on mainly is, uh, you know, sprawling and shooting our hands underneath the ball to get those hard digs. And my hitters in practice help me a lot. You know, they're just firing the balls and um, I mean my job is to pick them up any way that I can so if that ball gets up in the air I'm doing my job and uh, just practice going after it and uh, really focusing on shooting my hands underneath that ball and trying to get it, trying to get it up and like I said uh, my hitters don't take it easy which is really nice because it gives me the pressure that I need to perform in games so um, it's all because of them too. And you guys have been ranked in the top five in the AVCA coaches poll all season long how, do you, how proud do you think Coach Flora is of you and the team? I think he's very proud. Um, you know, we've been working so hard since season started, and uh, coming off of last season, too, you know, there's always a target on our back, but I think we've handled it very well, and I think he's really helped us through that, and, uh, you know, just the hard work we keep putting in practice. So I think he's, he's very proud of us right now, but also knows that we, we can push more. We can be better than what we are now, and um, <clears throat> that's what we're working on right now. So. And how does that motivate you to work so hard in practice? Uh, in so many ways, you know, it's also like you want, we're number five right now, but you want to keep climbing up, climbing up. And we were, we were number two at one point and uh, you want to get back to there. And so it, it just motivates you to, you know, get even harder balls that are coming at you and, um, you know, helping your hitters see what's open on the court. And it just motivates you to talk more and be in tune and focus on what's really happening at that point in time. Perfect. Well, thanks for talking volleyball with me. We're going to move into this new segment. I switched it up a little bit. We're going to play a quick game of Would You Rather. Are you ready? Yes. Would you rather live without Netflix or music? Netflix. Okay. And would you rather talk to animals or speak every language? Talk to animals. Would you rather never lose your phone or never lose your keys? Never lose my keys, actually. I do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and last question, would you rather never be stuck in traffic again or never get a cold again? Ooh. Honestly, never be stuck in traffic again. That would be nice. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> I Thanks. <agree. laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today, Brandy, and congrats again on your honor this week. Thank you, Rachel.